Hello YouTube, today we are going to be trying to plant 20 million trees using math. You know I've been on YouTube for a while and making math videos is something I've been doing for 10 years and hopefully this is an opportunity to do a little bit of good with learning math. So we're going to try and do both of those things at the same time while trying to plant 20 million trees. So let's get started. Ba-boom! Wow, that's a lot of trees. All right, first off, I just want to talk about what's going on. Why is this video a little bit different than the other ones, and how is it the same? First off, how is it the same? We're going to be learning math. We're going to talk about ratios. We're going to talk about proportions, and we're actually going to solve some word problems with ratios and proportions that will help us with hashtag team trees to plant those 20 million trees or to see what it would take to plant 20 million trees using kind of our YouTube community. So let's get into our lesson and then we'll talk about the trees. First of all, ratios. A ratio is a comparison of numbers. It can be written in three different forms. Usually a word form is writing it like this. A one to 10 ratio is a comparison of one somethings to 10 somethings else's. Colon form where you have the colon in between the numbers. And then fraction form, which is the most common form of writing ratios. And that's in this form, just like that. Fraction, the numerator is the first number, denominator, second number. Here's a question that we could solve using ratios. My family of six people have 24 trees around our home. What's the ratio of people to trees in fraction form? Whenever you're writing something in fraction form, it's important that you, for me at least, I write it out. So I'm writing people to trees. And that way I always know the people are on the numerator and trees are in the denominator in every fraction I'm going to write. So I, when I now write it, it's people to trees. How many, What's the ratio of people to trees? 6 to 24. And whenever you have a fraction, you've got to reduce it to lowest terms. So let's do that. We divide by our greatest common factor in both top and bottom, and we get a ratio of 1 to 4. In other words, for every one person, there's four trees that we've planted around our house. That is this ratio. Now let's talk about proportions. Proportions are a set of equivalent ratios. We just talked about one. 1 fourth is equal to 6 over 24. That is a proportion, a set of equivalent ratios. Here's another one. 1 seventh is equal to 7 over 49. 1 half is 5 over 10. 5 fourths is x over 16. What in the world is that? Don't worry, we'll get to it. And 2 thirds is equal to 18 over 12. These are examples of equivalent ratios or proportions. And specifically, we can use that one kind of odd one there with the X on the top for solving problems. Let's talk about quickly how to solve proportions. I'm going to show you a shortcut that I'm going to use throughout this video. I'm not a big fan of shortcuts often in math, but this shortcut you can use for solving every single proportion problem. So it's an okay shortcut. Here we go. If I'm given that proportion from that previous slide and I'm asked to solve for the value of x, here are my two steps. Step number one, multiply the numbers that are diagonal. So first I have to find the numbers that are diagonal. 4 is diagonal from x and 5 is diagonal from 16. So the numbers that are diagonal, the two numbers are 5 and 16. So I'll go ahead and multiply those. 16 times 5 gives me 80. Step number two. Divide by whatever number's left. So I've used the 5, I've used the 16, the only number that's left is the 4. So I'm going to take 80 and divide by 4, and that gives me 20. That's it. That's my answer. x is equal to 20. I could rewrite it as equivalent fractions, equivalent ratios, or proportions, like I've done down there. 5 over 4 is equal to 20 over 16. Or I can just say my answer is 20. We've talked about ratios. We've talked about proportions. Now we're going to talk about team trees and then do some more math that connects it all together. Team trees is 
an organization that is trying to donate $20 million to Arbor Day to plant 20 million trees. It was started up by a couple of YouTubers. The way I found out about it was that I follow Mark Rober. He's awesome. He does science projects and engineering. If you're not familiar with him, definitely check that out. Anyway, I've been following him for a while and he is a part of getting this rolling. So that should be enough information for us to get started with solving the math of planting 20 million trees. Let's do this. There are 23 million YouTube channels right now. Well, there's more than that now, but as of the last time that um, I was able to get, get data. If everyone worked together, how many trees would each channel need to plant to reach the goal of 20 million? That seems like a good math problem. And the way that we solve this problem is using proportions. So I would set up a proportion like this with the trees on the top and the number of YouTube channels on the bottom. Trees, YouTube channels. And now I'm going to solve that proportion using those steps that I showed you before. Step number one, I multiply the numbers that are diagonal. One times 20 million. That's pretty easy math, got that. Step number two, I divide by whatever number's left. So I have 20 million divided by 23 million, and that gives me approximately 0 0.87. That's my answer, 0 0.87. So if every YouTube channel planted 0.87 of a tree, or a little bit less than one tree, we'd be able to plant the 20 million trees in a single year. Or if every YouTube channel donated 87 cents, we'd be able to plant all of those trees. Well, that's doable. I can definitely do that. But that may not be a realistic solution because honestly, every YouTube channel doesn't make money and every YouTube channel is not going to donate to this exact cause. So I think we need to go back to the drawing board and come up with a new ratio proportion problem. Let's do this. Mr. Beast, the person who started Team Trees, has 20 million subscribers. That's why they started this idea. They, he got 20 million subscribers and one of them recommended go ahead and plant 20 million trees to celebrate. He donated $100,002. Okay. If I have 46,382 subscribers, which I have right now while I'm making this video, how much would I have to donate enabled to have the same proportion of donation amounts. That's a proportion question I can definitely do. It would look like this. I have the cost on top. I don't know what my cost is. Um, and I have subscribers on the bottom, right? Donations on top, subscribers on the bottom. And I would solve it just like I solved that other proportion problem. I find the numbers that are opposite, multiply them. That'll give me a really big number. I'm hoping my donation wouldn't have to be 400 million because then I take it and I divide by the remaining number. So I'm going to take that 468,246,382 and I'm going to divide that by 20 million. And that gives me my 231.91. That's my answer, $231.91. If I was going to donate at the same rate or the same proportion as Mr. Beast who set this up, I would donate $231.91 towards this cause. Not bad using proportions. So a quick conclusion, what have we talked about? We talked about ratios, we talked about proportions, we talked about team trees, but that kind of still leaves us with the problem of donating money and raising trees. So as a conclusion, I am going to donate somewhere between 86 cents and $231.91. You can check it out on Team Trees and see how much I donated. Look for me. I'll be in that list. I'm also going to encourage all of you to give what you can for this important cause. Mr. Beast, Mark Rober, I saw Chris Ramsey on there who I love and it was great to see that he was part of this too. We can't do it by ourselves, but if we all pitch in, we can definitely make a big difference. So I encourage you to go there, check it out. I'll have the links in the chat or in the um, video description, so you can definitely check that out. I hope that you can donate a little bit towards this important cause. I hope that video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.